world of nutrition, uh, uh, I, I look at nutrition as um, a resistance process. And the, the, the more resistance that, uh, um, that food gives in the digestive process, that means there's more nutrition in it. So when you're eating whole foods and you're eating whole plant foods, that need a lot of digestive forces to be broken down, your body knows that and will produce the, 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 the um, digestive secretions that are necessary, the pancreatic juice, the hydrochloric acid, the bile, if it has the capacity. And bitters can help with that. And so the more resistance, the more nutritious. The flip side of that is when you consume refined processed foods, right? The, 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 the nutrients are, are stripped out of it. The, the brands may be taken away. The fiber is taken out. You just have this white starchy flour in front of you. It's not a lot of resistance there. It breaks down really quickly, really easily. And, and that's why you get this spike in blood sugar also because there's this, there's no resistance there. It goes through the digestive system rapidly and you get this rapid rise of blood sugar which isn't good for the physiology one of the things that bitters do is they actually help stabilize blood sugar levels which is a, a one of the most important things in my opinion that we can do when we eat is eat uh, in a way that maintains stable blood sugar levels. When we spike and crash our blood sugar levels and when we're on that blood sugar roller coaster, what that does is it is it um, can impact all of our key neurotransmitters, our serotonin, our dopamine, acetylcholine, our GABA. And so it can disrupt all of our neurotransmitters, which then disrupts our thinking and our feeling life and can lead to um, uh, poor choices poor actions, uh, confused thoughts, uh, emotional imbalances. And so we really want to make sure that we eat to stabilize blood sugar levels. Well, what, when we put some bitter foods into our diet, what that will do is, one, the taste of the bitter sends a signal to the liver that, whoa, wait a minute, there might be something that's potentially toxic here. And uh, you may not want to eat too much of that. So what that does is it, one, reduces the uh, appetite so you don't eat as much of that food. And it also will help to stabilize blood sugar levels. So these are some like innate mechanisms within us that our body knows what to do when we get the taste of bitter.